Oh, oh, holy shit. How's it going, everyone? My name is Lion, and welcome back to Blooming Paddock. We're here for a part two of this, so if you're not caught up with uh, parts one of this, uh, yeah, link to that is in the description below. And hey, let's get back. God, why does, why does this song slap so hard? Frick. Good morning. What now? It's not even morning. Let's go! <laughs> go where exactly? Nowhere. You weren't invited. What? Why would I care? Embarrassing for you. So, uh, I got the zine page allocation figured out. Ooh, it's really coming together. I'm so excited. Damn, you've been busy. That's true. I didn't realize how much effort you were putting into this until now. <sighs> Does that mean you're going to try harder? Haha. <laughs> I never do anything but my best. Well, that can't be true since you're human. He's <laughs> God damn it, Zix! Yeah. I never claimed to be humorous, but I could be if I put in actual attempt. Hmm. But I'm sure Zix couldn't pull off being serious. Is that a bet? Is that a bet? Lol, nah. Okay, now I really want to see this. Wait, why not? So you know that you lose. This doesn't seem to bode well for any of us. Lol, well, what's the point in being serious? It doesn't do anything to improve your life. Honestly, I agree. Yeah, it does. You have to be serious to study and prove yourself. Really? You sure about that? I find it's easier to, like, study if you don't take it seriously. I bet Zix couldn't stay serious for a day. What if Onion tried to be peppy like shoot? Oh, man. Ah, I don't know what's the right answer. No, I bet Zix could stay serious for a day. Uh, he could stay serious for an hour. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, no. Why would I put myself through that? Afraid of a challenge, Zix. Are you afraid? Are you scared? Are you big scared? Well, sounds boring. I'll pass. Sounds like someone who knows they would lose. Ooh! Are you just gonna take that, Six? Well, are you? How did I end up being the one to veto server tomfoolery anyway? Wait, that reminds me! Zix! Can you seriously confirm what you're doing for the zine? Please, please, please! Don't back out on us now, Zix. I never said yes. What? It'll help with the allocation planning. Just like character, and if it's art or writing... You can help the rest a uh, secret. It's fine. Oh, you can keep the rest a secret. Jesus, I keep messing up the lines. Looking for an excuse. It wouldn't kill you to contribute to the server for once, you know? Hypebot has joined the server. Who's Hypebot? Finally. Awaken my liege! Huh? Wait, what? Hello, Hypebot! Who's Hypebot? You're cheating on me, Zix! Hello, Zix! You are looking so hot and muscular today. <laughs> Thank you, that means so much to me. What have I walked into? What the heck? Don't be rude. Say hello to our newest member. Hello, hype bot. The, the bot. Hello, hype bot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, yo, lion. What did Zix do? You are looking so hot today, almost as much as- <laughs> Oh no! Oh yes, this can't be allowed. Uh, nah, no rules are broken, just say hi to hype. <laughs> Did Zix plan this, like, with Naked Toasty? They just can't help talk about me. Hello, Naked Toaster! Driving us all insane, does that count? Hype button would never! He would never! Wow, so true, bestie. This is why you're the funniest and hottest person in the server. So true! God, not today! Onion theme is awful. <laughs> See you later, bestie. Stay sexy. <laughs> is this going to be our new reality? What is real life anymore? Wouldn't mind if it was. Toasty, my boy. You always have my back. You know it. <sighs> Does the bot have any other trigger words? The, the, is it even a bot? I can't reveal all my secrets. Huh. Hmm. What could be its secrets? 
Uh, if you don't have anything for Final Fantasy XIV, I'll be disappointed. No, no, Toasty. Hey, yo, Toasty, stop AFKing in Limsa, eh? I should have known. God. But yeah, Lion, just try something out and see what sticks. What about... Hi, bud. What do you think about Celeste? Uh, I can't think of anything. You say something. What do you think about Celeste? You have exquisite taste, Lion. Very correct and sexy of you. Oh, oh yes, indeed. I indeed do have incredibly sexy taste. Mwah. Oh, this is so your propaganda. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. Are you sure this will drum up support for a fish girl side character? No, but it does fuel my amusement. God, fish girl is amazing, though. The other Celeste, amazing too, but I don't know if I'll ever get back to streaming that. Yo, big lady, welcome back, sexy. Enjoy the view. Lol, what's wrong? What's going on, big lady? Big lady? Today was, well, sad face. It's Kate event. Did your first date go okay? There was no date. There wasn't even a text. Who hurt my big lady? I sat there waiting for an hour like an idiot. I'm so sorry. I bought pause. What the frick? I can't believe she stood you up. It's terrible. Garbage. I'm so sorry. Heck, if this piece of poo is going to hurt my big lady, I am going to take big lady for myself. Can I date big lady? Pretty sure that's a thing I can't do in this game, but I want to date big lady. Can I date big lady? I want to date big lady. Thanks, I got on here today and tried to strap myself, but I can't even pretend it doesn't hurt. I really thought you liked me. We talked for weeks before this. I just don't know what I did wrong. You don't have to pretend. Just do whatever feels best for you. We love and appreciate you. Lol, thank you. I love you guys too. It's just that I put on my favorite dress, got my nails done, spent hours on this person, and they didn't even bother telling me not to go. I feel so stupid. Honestly, it sounds like you dodged a bullet. Hey, we all had terrible dating experiences. Sounds like you dodged a bullet. Like TBH. Yeah! Like, the guy's a piece of poo. You should date me instead. You don't want to be with someone like that. Who would do something so awful? Yeah, what she said. She still hasn't said anything to me. Well, exactly! Yes, you're right, and I should stop checking. Well, if you're okay with dating an eldritch abomination, I'm right here. <laughs> Lady, yeah, she's not worth it. You deserve better. Yeah, someone like... That's not worth your time. Oh, someone like that is not worth your time. Exactly. So yeah, you deserve the best. <laughs> Love you all. Wait. Love you all. All this affection. Gross. Oh, please. Did you literally sit around and call waiting for Lion to show up early? Hey, yo. <laughs> Big, if true. I get the call exclusive jokes. i never spoken to Zix in my... <laughs> Uh, I've never spoken to Zix in my life. I get the call. Ex uh, 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 I've never spoken to Zix in my life. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks for the backup. No problem, Zixie boy. I see you've chosen to troll. It'd be cute if I wasn't so furious. I still think it's cute. Well, yeah. <laughs> they continue to mock us. They won't get away with it. It continues. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. Debating cracking open a bottle of wine or a pint of ice cream. A perfect solve for a trash day. Hey, lady. This quest end up with lady. From the sounds of how your day went, I think you deserve both. A pint of wine cream. I don't know what wine cream would be like. Yeah, I'll hang around for a little while. Alright, but depending on how fast I get through the bottle, it may not be very long? Lamau, no worries. Yeah, take some time to unwind. You deserve it, big lady. You are our big lady. We we, we are gonna share you, big lady. Will do. Okay, well, I hope you feel better, lady. I only stay to make sure. Appreciate it, Toasty. Yeah, happy feelings, etc. Bye, everyone. Later. Alright. Uh, Toasty is offline. Off to play more Final Fantasy, I suppose. No, I'm tempted to play Final Fantasy 14. God. I think I'll keep working my bit for the zine. Kinda hard to think about anything else lately. 
Can't wait to see how it turns out. Yeah. <sighs> Actually, I was going to ask, did you want to do something for the zine? Wait, me? Or quests? Oh yeah, quests. Me, I'm not sure what I could bring to the table there. Whatever you like. Uh, uh, yeah, I used to do lettering some time ago. Maybe I can lend a hand at that again. Hmm. Oh my god, that would be perfect. No one's offered to take the title page. I'll do my best then. That's all I ask. <sighs> yeah, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Fan Art Dump has been renamed to Zine Dump. Here we go. Ah. No, big lady! Well, she deserves the best of the night. What's the name of the zine, by the way? I think it's called Beautiful Blooming Warrior Lola. Hey, yo. It's a little long, isn't it? Yeah. BBWL. Uh, what's going to say it, but just a little. Ah, uh, okay, okay. What about Blooming Warrior Lola? Oh, that sounds so much better. That sounds so much better. Beautiful Blooming Warrior Lola sounds like something straight out of an anime, though. Sounds good. Uh, that's it. I'm not sure how good uh, that look in my style. No, trust me. It's fine. It's a collab project. The more styles, the better. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, Zix is calling us on our... Well, he's not calling us. He's texting us on our secret channel. Come in, Lion. Come in, Lion. Biz re reporting in. Biz acknowledged. Please retrieve sustenance. Supplies are running low. What should I get you? A big, like, healthy serving of Celeste. We can start with all your money. That's not food! That is not food! I didn't ask for food. I asked for sustenance! Lol. Yeah, we go on another call then. I shall have to find another time then. For now, I rest. You feeling tired? That's a first. I guess these painkillers are taking more out of me than I thought. Lol. Hope you feel better soon. Oh. Uh, thanks. I mean, are you really so worried? Wait, actually, don't answer that. Yeah, I'll leave it then. Uh, I saw you pause high, but sorry, just a little worried. Uh, 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 I was just a bit worried. Please. <laughs> Nothing to worry about there. I can't stay down for too long, lol. That's it. Like if you had an accident or had a bad day or something. I wouldn't try to be all jokey around you. Salison is online! Not like I'm inconsiderate or don't care or anything. I care about you too! Aww. Okay. Wait, wait, I have to rephrase. I just meant like a... I wouldn't be a pee pee about it. Wait, no, that's still wrong. I get it! I get it! Zix, you, you have a crush on me! I get it! Oh my god, Salison! Hi, Salison! What are you doing in here? <laughs> hey, Sal. Guess you can see this channel after all. Hello, Lion. Hello, Zix. I don't remember being here. Yeah, we haven't used it in over a year. Not surprising. What will we use it for? Hmm. Don't know. Kind of like how it is with a small group. Oh! Oh my god! Rip! Back to just us then? <laughs> Guess so. Hate to say, but, uh, I should probably try lay down for a while. Not that I want to leave you or anything. Okay, no. I'm just trying to say I'm not trying to ditch. It's okay. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Did I make it awkward? Did I make things awkward? I'm clearly tired and cannot type correctly. Talk to you later. Of course. I promise I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Dunno. Need a little more leverage than a promise. Thank you, promise. Lol, how's about my money then? Fine, I will accept this as signature. Just this once. Lol, see you tomorrow. Ah, uh, see ya. Alright, we're on to the next day already. Onion, it's true. Just because you say something is true doesn't mean it. W what? What's going on? I have statistics. W here it comes. Uh, what's going on? Guys, seriously, what's going on? Hey. Yeah, I'll take this one. Yeah. What's going on? Some people are under the impression that Sable is more popular among the fans than she actually is. Sable! You mean the one with the eye patch? Or that she is more important in the story than she's portrayed to be? Interesting? Uh, 
Don't encourage him. You okay? So, so the amount of lines a character has doesn't always correlate to their importance. Yes, that is true. I mean, heck, uh, considering all the visual novels and um, all the fan, all the fandoms I've seen so far. Uh, it depends on the media. In Bloomix's case, the data does show such a thing. If you view the love interest and their lines, the amount matches up with their impact on Lola. Onion, did you make a data chart of every line in Blooming? What? <laughs> well, did you? Of course not. That's ridiculous. Just wondering. It could be possible, though. I mean, I'm pretty sure someone has done that before. I mean, a program to do it for me. <laughs> Christ! Amateur gram. What? What? Oh, it's like the opposite of program? Oh my freaking god. My work is not amateur. I'm in the top of my class. We know. Then why would Zick say that? It was obviously a joke. Uh, wait. I wanna- I wanna- I wanna hear what Onion has to say. God. My work is not amateur. I am in the top of my class. Well, good to hear, Onion. Anyway, uh, it was obviously a joke. Onion and numbers, a match made in hell. What is with you today? Whoa, whoa, chill. Well, to be honest, I'm with Onion on this one. Zix feels off today. A little bit, I suppose. Are you okay? Tough crowd today, huh? If you all want true data jokes, simply ask the master himself. I don't, though. So. I'm willing. Good timing for me to leave. I'm off to study and work. Okay, Lamau. I have to head home now, so I'll be back later as well. See ya, Onion. See ya, Quest. Alright. Well, they're both leaving. Uh, now it's... Well... We only have half the server up. Okay, no time to talk, but I did so much homework uh, so I could finish this before uh, uh, next week. And I have more homework to do. Is that blooming padding with pop off girls? That is adorable. When I have even more homework to do. <laughs> oh, dear God. This is so cute, too. Uh, two? Hi, hi. Do you like it? Oh my god. I'm pretty sure Lady loves it. I love it, too. It's adorable. June will love seeing this. Also, shouldn't this be in Zine Dump? Uh, I hope so, because I spend too much time on this. Not bad. Gee, thanks. That's high praise coming from you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I really have to get back now. Ugh. See ya. Alright. Well, two is off to do more homework. Well, now that's dead. Probably time to log off. Uh, wow, so I'm not good enough company, huh? Do you have a Final Fantasy XIV account? Why is that the only criteria? Blah! Taking that as a no. God damn it, I wouldn't tell you even if I did. Wow! Okay, bye then. See ya. Well, uh, now it's just me and Zix. <gasps> Yay, it's just us! Alright, hey. Hey Zix, nice to see ya. Lol, aren't you chipper today? Same, but, uh, you busy? No, why? You calling up for another call? Oh, cool. No reason, just was wondering. I was wondering. Well, not wondering, because I don't wonder. Do you just know? Do you just know that I want to be on a call with you? I just go by the defi dictionary definition, you know? Because wonder as a verb would imply strong pondering. And it's not like I super ponder or anything. You're not being very subtle about this, Zix. Huh? Sorry. Do you want to talk a bit? If you're not busy, I mean. Or want to. Like, a call, I guess. Yeah, of course. Yeah, thanks. Well, here we go, Zixy boy. Hey. Apologies in advance for being off my game today. I've been... It's been a rough day. Zix? You okay? It's your pain acting on. <laughs> it's not that. Nothing to worry about there. It's just, um... Cat is... Not well. Oh, God. And I'm really sorry to hear that, Zix. Cat is sick? Cat is sick. I just feel really stupid about it. It's not my cat, you know? Well, are we still going on about this? Just God. A dumb... Stray. Have you taken it to a vet? It doesn't sound stupid at all. You think so? Yeah. Whether the cat is yours or not, you care about them. It's kind of you. Kind of me. I guess so. I'm just doing what seems right, you know. 
Took it to the vet and everything. I'm just waiting here for the meds to work. It's been hard. So yeah, that's uh, the news on Cat. Always causing me trouble one way or another. Yeah, I I get it. But I can clearly tell you're not okay, Zex. This is Cat's way of trying to negotiate for better food. I refuse to budge. Maybe. The little troublemaker thinks I'll spoil them. It's only somewhat true. Somewhat. Not much with my leg being the way it is right now anyway. <laughs> hey, I get it. It's okay to get worried. I'm sure Cat appreciates having you look out for them. Ouch. I guess that makes it harder for you both. Hope it works out. We'll go for the first one. <laughs> I'm being obvious right now, aren't I? Incredibly obvious. You torment me with your observation. Ha <laughs> ha! Oops. I'm worried about Cat too, okay? Yes. I can see that as well. Thank you. But, um, <laughs> thanks for, uh, listening. I'm not used to the whole expressing myself freely thing. Don't really have that luxury in my day to day. He's freaking crying. God damn. What do you mean? Let's just say I have to choose my words and actions carefully in my line of work. What do you even do for work? I felt like I could tell you. I wanted someone to know. I'm glad I could be that person for you. Hey, don't get too cocky on me now. <laughs> it's just exclusively cat details. Nothing big. Oh, really now? You sure? And pretty sure soon enough you're not gonna be telling me like all your deep dark secrets. Still! <laughs> okay, alright. Fine. Be that person. But now we should talk about uh, anything else. Please. Sure. Looking for a good distraction. A great one, if we can help it. Hmm. Let's see. No, that doesn't work with other people. What do you What do you mean? What are you thinking? Oh, many, many things. Though none I think are quite entertaining enough for you. Oh, are you saying that I'm good enough for you to be entertaining, Zix? Anything is fine. I don't mind. You say that now. Fine. Then there is one thing. Hmm, yes. This is a fantastic idea for a distraction. How good are you with your tongue? Exceptionally. Uh, pretty good, actually. Uh, oh, is that <laughs> so? <laughs> Very good to know. Yes, yes, and indeed. You know, I was hoping to have a friendly competition of... Of? What is it? What is Thank it? You for a drum roll. Anyway, tongue twisters. Oh, sure thing. Are you any good at them? Uh, I love them. Great news. We'll see if you still do after this. Okay. Thing I can't handle what you've got. Oh, we'll see. Okay, we'll do a listen and follow. I'll say a tongue twister and you try and copy me. You're on. Let's start off easy. <clears throat> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck your wood as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck it, he would as much as he could, and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Uh, wait. Hey, hey, I got it perfectly. Kinda. I screwed up a little bit, but can we go a bit slower? <laughs> okay, fair. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck chuck <laughs> You guys didn't see that. You guys did not see that. Do not tell Zix. How much wood would wood chuck chuck if wood chuck could chuck wood? Uh, <laughs> uh, what happens if I screw this up? What happens if I screw it up? <laughs> Good effort. Hmm. Let's try another. Can you imagine an imaginary menagerie manager imagining managing an imaginary menagerie? Can imagine an imaginary menagerie manager imagining managing a m imaginary menagerie. Uh, <laughs> let's 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 screw this up even more. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. Okay, okay. How about this one? Mr. C owned a saw, and Mr. Saw owned a seesaw. Had Saw seen seesaw before seesaw saw seesaw, seesaw would not have sawed. Mr. C on a saw and Mr. Saw on a seesaw. Had Saw seen seesaw and before seesaw saw seesaw, seesaw would not have saw. Uh, that, that. <laughs> oh, baby. Not even close. Listen up, yeah? Mr. C owned a saw. And Mr. Saw owned a seesaw. 
Mr. Seal on the saw. Mr. Saw on the seesaw. Had Saw seen Seesaw before Seesaw saw Seesaw, Seesaw would not have sawed. <laughs> ah! uh, had Saw... Ah, Did you no! really mess it up again? I'll go ahead and declare myself the winner. However, for your efforts, I will name you runner-up. Gee, thanks. Anything for you. Mwah. Did you just kiss me? Next time you copy me. Next time? Who said anything about a next time? Truly. I cannot keep up with your ever-changing demands. Thanks for the, uh, distraction, though. Ah, uh, well, anytime. Oh, anytime. Oh, really? Anytime, Six. I remember that when I find more tongue twisters, yeah? No! No! <laughs> but not literally anytime, but yes, you're right. <laughs> Aw, but you gave me your word. And I'm so, so very injured. You won't indulge me? Ugh, that's unfair! Unfair is just another type of fair. I thought you were taking pity on me. I care about you a lot is all. So you... do. Sure. Thanks. Uh, you know... The reason was he I blushing? talked to you at the beginning is because you were new. No expectations. And now? <laughs> Guess I just feel like it. Oh, really now? So we're spending time together because you feel like it. Oh, my. You know me. Just do what I want when I want. I don't know you that well, but I'd like to. <laughs> you dag. Don't just say something so sincere like that. How am I supposed to make a joke out of it? Better watch out. I have more where that came from. <laughs> No, anything but sincerity. I'm allergic. Have mercy. Nope, sorry. I like you too much. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Why is he blushing so much? God. The uh, painkillers are wearing off. So, uh. Oh, I'll talk to you later? Hmm. Perhaps. You sure it's a perhaps and not a promise, fam? Please. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm... Well, I'll be around, I guess. No promises, though. Toodles. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. All right. There goes six. Only a couple people here tonight. Oh, my God. It's really just the four of us. Lion is so dead. I've just been sitting here. Equests and Zeke's not been active? Huh. They've both been AFK. Oh no! Well, I'm here now, big lady. Yay! I need validation! That's fine. I can give you all the validation you want. You want to see my zine piece? Just finished it a couple hours ago. Hell yeah. Like any time. Yes! Thank you! Alright. Lay it on me, fam. Oh, oh, it's in zine dump. Okay, here we go. Uh... Okay, I'm not the best artist, but I really try hard at this. And post. Ooh, women! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> women! Best girl. Heck yeah, Celeste. This is pretty good, lady. Don't know why you were worried. Six! Aw, oh, Six is actually a real big softy. So glad I discovered you were Celeste fan all along. How did you discover it if I just told you? Whatever! Well... How do you feel about Celeste, Lion? Well... Best girl. Nidal is now online. She's so cute. I love how goofy she is. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna go with so cute. She is absolutely adorable. Yeah, I hear that a lot. That's not all she is, though. Yeah, exactly! It's the bigger picture for me. Did I- did I accidentally lose a faction points with Zex? I don't want that to be the case. I really liked that scene with the birdhouse. It was like her way of telling Lola she was really hurting. Oh, Never thought about it that way. What happened that scene again? Did someone remind me? God, cause I- I- I did not catch up on Blooming Panic. After all this time, I've never caught up with it. Miss Celeste worked on the old birdhouse she bought and told Lola about how sometimes you just have to go fix yourself up. Yeah, that one. Wow. Like, now that we're here, everyone's coming online, huh? I really like that take, though. She's just so multi-layered. I love her so much. 
Ooh, Lady Art is so cute. Hi, Nido. And you've got her with Lola. Woo! Oh my god, it looks fantastic. Big lady, oh my god. Oh, looks like the server livened up while I was away, Lamau. Great work, lady. Big lady. Ah, I, I want to hear it. God damn it. I guess I'm just not going to be able to hear it. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, I had to represent my ship. Big lady and little ship. Ah, since I have you all here, I finished my piece as well. It looks like something straight out of Adventure Time. Holy heck. It looks fantastic. Holy cow, you really went all out. Of course I did. Agreed. Ah, oh, man. Almost. Almost makes me wish we had a more save. We had a stable emote. Oh, looks good. Thanks. But wait! Zix, how far are you on your piece? Yeah, I don't think he wants to join June. Saving the best for last! Ha <laughs> ha! Possibly. <laughs> don't call him out like that. No, June, wait, no, no! Attention on me! I finished mine too! Night Owl, you, you really are attention. Oh my god! Front page material. It is! God! Look at it and bass naked toaster. You made them look so cool. So freaking cool. There's power in this image. It's so much power. Feel it, baby. Feel the power. Oh, Toasty is now online. Oh. Oh. Can I do last call for zine submissions quest? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Want me to do it? Who the freak at me? Lol. Yes, please. All right. Let's see how this goes. Everyone, last call for zine submissions. Wait, wait. Okay, and now I'm at again. <laughs> yep, yep. Can't wait to see everyone. I'm heading out for now, though. Later, lady. All right. See ya. Bye, etc. And lady's off. Man, hope she feels better, though. So. Oh, the scene. Guess I should post that, huh? You're done with yours? Yeah, not posted it, so. Yep. What? Why? Dude, screw with you. Naturally. I'll post it in a bit, though. Fine. What about you three? I finished my doodles. My little noodles. My little noodle noodle. I want to see. Well, sure. I'll show you my noodle. I'll show you all my noodles. I actually did some writing too, but I feel weird about a cover. Show it. Give 2.0. Give 2.0. The better one. Okay, but don't laugh. Promise. No promises. Toasty's a bit of a prick. I post doodles. Aw. Man, that's cute. Yes, this will go perfect on the other pages. I can't imagine it now. Thank you so much, Lion. You're welcome. It was a nice break from work. <sighs> Lion, the cutest. I'm cute. Agreed. Lamau, love it. Zix called me cute. Aw, thanks, everyone. <sighs> Your turn. Oh, right. Right. Oh, oh, God. Balancing the stack of food containers on one arm, Xander rings the doorbell. It's quite evening in this no small neighborhood. Most of the residents obvious to the battle that just took place. After a few moments, the door opens, Lola's worn face peeking through the crack. Recognizing him, she smiles tiredly, eyes lighting up the best she can. She grimaces as the cut on her lip pulls and Xander's heart aches. I thought you might be hungry, he offers, and gestures with the container. Lola is still smiling tiredly at him, but ushers him inside to the kitchen. It's small, but cozy, with some unwashed dishes that Xander mentally reminds himself to do later. It's full of plants and very Lola. Her torn magical girl outfit is laid on the kitchen table, a small sewing basket nearby. Xander touches the fabric gently. It doesn't repair itself magically. She laughs. I wish, but I suppose it's giving me room to practice. The laughter trails off, and the silence in the room hangs for a moment. Lola toying with the thread on her sleeve, and Xander holding the stack of boxes. He sets them on the counter, pulling out muffins, a pie, and a tray of lopsided meringues. Meringues. Meringue? I have no idea. Someone tell me how it's pronounced in the comments. I wanted to try something new, he says bashfully. As someone uh, comes to have a peek, turns out meringues are a lot harder than I thought. Um, her eyes go wide and a little watery. She sees the effort he's gone to. Xander, this is so much. You did all this for me. Of course. It comes out like a rush. Like he needs to affirm it as soon as possible. It's not like them. 
Lola, I don't have magic powers. I can't summon weapons. I can't help you in battle. But maybe I can make the bits in between a little better. Lola smiles up at him. Like she knows something he doesn't. Riding on the wall all along. Xander. She gently takes him by the hand. You don't need magic powers to be extraordinary. You don't have to read it right. I had, I read it. I read the whole thing. Everyone on YouTube can tell me, like, can tell you that I've read it. No way. I'm reading it immediately. Sounds so good already. I'm hooked. It is so fluffy, though. God. Okay. While well, June is reading, Blooming Warrior Lola. It looks so cool. Holy poo. My God. I told you not to laugh. No, it's really good. Nice. That is a wild combination of styles. It looks amazing. Does it really? Well, yeah, why would I lie? No, 100% agreed. It looks super cool. Oh, man, it really is. God, I want to look at it again. God, it is so freaking cool. I absolutely love it. And I think this is one of the few times where I'm seeing like three different styles together. And it actually works out. It is so rare to find something like this. God. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm so glad you did the cover and not me, to be honest. This is the greatest cover I've seen in my life. Yeah, okay, dude. The Mao. Thanks, though. What the frick? Wow, Quest. This looks awesome. It's like street art. Or like gang tattoos or something. Yeah, thanks. All right, all right. I'll post my first page Nathaniel art. Do it. Hold on. What am I holding on for? As I mentioned before, I believe the first page should be my writing. I'm sure he'll tell us regardless. Aesthetically speaking, the cover alone is already eye-catching artistry. True so far. I think I'm being complimented. I think so. Okay, and so what? So, it makes sense for the art and writing to be spread out. After seeing Quest's artistic cover, the reader should be greeted with writing to avoid being overwhelmed. Okay. Bull poo! Bull poo! Excuse me. BS! Care to explain yourself? What are you writing for the zine, Onion? Onion, what are you doing? I would like to peel through your layers. An expanded explanation and origin story of the magical girl alternate universe. So Sailor Moon thing. Cool. The Mao. Lol. All right. No, Tutu, that's not what I'm writing. It's not juvenile as you're implying. Well, what is it then? Just admit you want the first page because you want to be first. That is so not true. The denial. The absolute disrespect. June, have you decided who will be the first page of the Zune? Uh, uh, me, me. I'm not asking either of you. It's me. Of look, guys, guys, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Of course, it must go to my main man, Zix. Please, again with the fighting. I would not do something so petty. Uh, heads or tails? Wait, just, just let June decide. Let's just let June decide. Precisely. Thank you, Lion. Aha! I don't know if that loses expectation points with six. Gah! Uh, I'm sure Jude will make whatever decision is the best for the project. Meaning you, right? Pretty sure he means me. It doesn't have to be mine, but it will be a logical choice. Whack. You disagree? Yeah. You going to elaborate? Probably not. Hmm. Well, thank you for this illuminating conversation. Yeah, good work, too. Thank you. <laughs> Onion is so, like, displeased. Honestly, I know the answer, but it's a secret. You'll all see the final product at the same time. It's six, isn't it? It's gonna be my main boy! Sure, we'll look forward to it. Can't wait. Please be my main boy. Please be my main boy. Yep, I know it'll be great with you in charge. Okay, Onion, let's post ours at the same time, okay? We can judge the quality together. Sure! Woo! I'm sure this will work out well. Ah, trust me. Trust me, fam. Don't worry. Okay, ready. I'll calm down. You want me to post now? Yeah, same time. Let's go. Uh, is this a zero or go? Two. The mouth. Hello? One. Ah! Fine, don't answer. Zero. Post it! Freaking post it! Oh, God. I need to read... Ah, uh, the world of blooming panic is teeming with magic, and as such, there are both agents of justice who wish to remedy the ills of the world with magic and evildoers who seek to exploit it. Lola never expected herself to become one of the former. 
after her diligent work at her family's garden attracts the notice of a guardian spirit, she finds herself inheriting the legacy of justice as the blooming warrior. Lola is soon joined by her friends Lydia and Celeste, who inherit complementary powers as a reward for their own industry, and together they form an energetic band of do-gooders. They have no small task as Lola's academic rival, Sable, gains some power of her own, threatening the peace of her plans. Sable intends to remake the world under her control using star stones, rare objects with great magical powers that emerge in times of crisis. Lola and company hope to stop crises from happening to prevent their emergence or, barring that, obtain the star stones themselves to stop Sable and seal away her power. The success of the new blooming warriors rests on Lola's shoulders. She will have to be resourceful and make the most of her powers and wits to best Sable, but with her friends at her side, she knows that justice will surely prevail. Nice. Where's yours? Best for last. You tricked me! Finally! Let me read! This looks very detailed. Wow. Onion. You really went all out. Naturally. Reading now! Let me know your thoughts. I'm on my phone. I'll read it later. Reading on your phone is the best way to read it. God! Or at least it's a way to read it. Sorry, Onion. That's alright. You can wait until it's posted in the finished scene if you like. Okay, main event time. Hey! That looks like something straight off Sailor Moon! That looks really good! Oh, you actually did it. Anything for the best boy. This is incredible. <sighs> Anything for best boy! I like it. It's okay. LOL! Great stuff, Onion. Salison is now online! I'm here with my writing! No, oh, God, no! I need to read more! <laughs> ah! Oh, God! Oh, there's so much! Following the climatic but dazzling struggle, the three blooming warriors, Lola, Lydia, and Celeste, lowered their brightly colored arms and gracefully descended towards their foe, so partially petrified from Lydia's hidden eye power. A solemnly defeated Nathaniel lay sprawled on the ground. His wintry power could not stand against a combined friendship. Great work, girls, Lola comment, uh, commanded her teammates as she approached Nathaniel, her outward excitement belying the storms within her own heart. As her former lover blankly stared at her, dejected by accepting of his loss, Lola found herself lost in a torrent of feelings, triumph, then anger, and finally, pity tinged with regret. Their eyes met, and a slight smile creased on Nathaniel's face during his immobile state. Drawing her sword once more and holding it up towards the moon, Lola released the elf from his stony shackles in a flash of lunar splendor. So he was responsible for her tempest of emotions. Now she had never forgotten the countless sunlit days between them, and that, at least momentarily, quieted her mind. She could only think of her lovely companions while gripping that hilt of Celeste, who always had a piece of her heart to give to everyone, even after it had been broken time and time again, of Lydia who had long been outed for being different, and still managed to find happiness and acceptance. No sky ever remained grey for long when she remembered what, what and who truly anchored her all this time. There was but one direction she could walk. Lola returned her blade to its scabbard with a heavy sigh. I forgive you, I suppose, she declared, before moving forward past the dumbfounded Nathaniel with an air of finality. Lydia and Celeste nodded and followed suit, accepting Lola's judgement. As the night grew old and the warriors parted ways, Lola slept almost as peacefully as she did before. The moonlight became obscured by dark clouds and she drifted off, knowing one more resolution awaited her. The campus, battered and drenched by a heavy rainstorm later the next morning. On a bench below the awning, Sable could only look while clenching a phone in a grip. The conversation on the other end likely been just as oppressive as the weather. Stowing away her umbrella, Lola greeted Sable rather unusually with a good morning. Why are you here? Sable snapped, sharply as ever. Why wouldn't I be? Lola answered warmly. I wanted to be here. Rain or snow. Ooh, nice! Great work, Sal. Thank you! Lol, there he goes. Six? I know you say you didn't want to join. Nope. But I guess I was wondering if you had any opinions to give, since I wanted something uh, we can all be happy with, you know? It's a group project and all. Sorry. You okay, Six? I admit, I'm not used to this level of quiet from Zex. I hope everything's okay with you. He's entitled to off days. Yeah, but if something's going on, maybe we can help. True! Yeah, we're here if you need. Something going on. Uh, why don't we leave him be for now? Like, cause Zix 
definitely respect, uh, like, definitely needs time for himself. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. No need to pressure him. Sorry. It's fine. What's more pressure? Lol. Uh, Quake June! Subject change! Uh, uh. Well, to be honest, if Zix doesn't have any opinions, I can move on to final planning now. Oh, I thought you were done with that. I didn't mean to hold you back. Zix definitely feels bad. No, no, you didn't. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. Hmm. I was just trying to say that the layout itself is what's taking me the most time. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's settle down and move on, guys. Please, Highbot play. Wait, what? Is Highbot really back? Pretty sure it is. They just can't keep talking about me. Hello, Onion Thief. Yes. Yep. No! No! <laughs> uh, no! Quest! <laughs> oh, man. They still aren't breaking any rules. My hands are tied. You're enjoying this too, aren't you? Hee <laughs> hee. Lol. Hello, Highbot! Well, what's Highbot gonna say to that? Yo, what's up, now you know? Can't believe you exist. You are so cool. Okay, it's not so bad. Welcome back, Highbot. What are you gonna say to me, huh? Hello, gorgeous. And that's to you guys. I mean, I know it's towards me, but I like to think that all of you are exceptionally gorgeous today. Anyway, wow, you didn't say that for me. What the frick? Never mind, this bot sucks. Jealous of a bot, shakes my head. Me too, hi bot. Is it so wrong to be gorgeous too? Very cool, too, too. Very cool. Darn it. Hello, hi bot. Well, brown naked toasty. Go slay those monsters. I believe in you. Ooh! Wow, what the freak? Come on! When does he get specialized stuff? Man! Well, cause Toasty is cool. Unlike you. <laughs> well, for what it's worth, I still enjoy Hypebot, Zix. Did you really type it like that, not so you don't activate it? Lol. And it worked! Did it work? Wow, so true, Night Owl. Very clever. Almost as clever as Zix. <laughs> Have fun. God. Uh, do I have any specialized ones? But you're already so special, Tutu. Yeah, That's kind of sweet. I doubt it, but I'm curious as what the specializations are. Hmm. I am not curious. Highbot is an annoyance. Just mad that Highbot is more fun than you. Rude! Well, is someone cool, Highbot? Woo! <laughs> Oh, man. I'm kind of curious, too. Maybe a bunch of Blue Mick references? Uh, I don't know. We want to know the details. You know what... The, you know what the, you say? Curiosity killed the cat. Huh. Don't you love user reply? So, Blue Mick. Huh? I changed my mind. I'm curious to see the code. It's already erroring. Show yours first, Onion. No. Sorry. I screwed up. It's fine. Hi, bot is still cool. Very cool user reply string positive. Uh, lol. It's my fault. Sorry, I can't do it right. Hey, it's okay. Yeah, I'm sure it's an easy fix. Uh, pfft. oh no. Hi I'm unsure now. Hi, bot scary. Oh no. I'm ruining the mood. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You can relax, Six. 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 Very sexy user reply. Uh, respond extended office hours through me. <laughs> Maybe we should pause the box again for now. Just, just a thought. Where exactly is the data pulled from? Hmm. It's probably best for now, Lion. I don't think Zix is okay. God. Yeah, we can wait until you fix it, Zix. Is he still here? Wait, can't you just pause Hypebot? Pretty sure we can. Unless it's only for- Ooh, you rang user reply? Non-disclosure agreement negotiation revision version 1.21. <laughs> Holy poo! What was the command? It's slash pause Hypebot. As per our previous call, I discourage you from continuing contact. As any interaction may be used in court, please refer to attached document. Uh, respond, respond, feline anesthesia estimate. Oh no. Hypebot slash pause. Oh god, is the other way around? 
Thank you for the letter, but I will no longer be attending the group session for personal reasons. Well, that did not work. No poo onion. I'm trying. It's the other way around. Uh, signature required animal hospital PDF pet surgery waiver. I bought pause. Yo, dispute solution agreement. Uh, okay. Uh, lol, just kick it or something. Uh, performance contrary revision submitted per request. Filing required before October deadline. This message has been deleted. There was no message. There was no message. This is your first warning. Please do not post personal information. Information. Uh, personally identifying information. Hypebot. Bloombot, you are so sexy. Very string positive. The bots are fighting each other. Welcome. Check out uh, Blooming Patty to learn more about the server. Don't have much choice. Slash kick hype. Of course you know what the freaking commands are! User Hypebot has been kicked from the server. Jeez. Is six okay? That's what I want to know! Okay, cool. We're fine. Crisis averted. Yeah, let's just leave it alone for now. So he has a cat. For frick's sake, Onion! Lawyer? Two! Let's not divulge any, like, personal information! We shake two hours. Onion Thief and two. Oh, God. Ugh. User Onion Thief has been restricted for two hours. And two should be restricted as well. Yeah, that's the dealio. Ah, uh, six is now offline. Oh, man. I feel bad. We all do. But I won't talk about it unless he wants to. Eventually. I'm going to go now. Me too. Oh, frick. All right. Fair enough. Have a good one, you two. Thanks. Oh, frick. That was the end of this night. God. Anyway, sorry for leaving on a downer, but that's all the time I have for today's episode. Thank you all so much for coming. I really hope you guys enjoyed yourself. We will be back with more Blooming Panic soon enough, so hey, stay tuned to the channel. Uh, in fact, um, yeah, um, uh, comment below about uh i don't know what i want you guys to comment below about but um i really want you guys to help comment below if you reach this far hey um i just want you guys to know that i really do appreciate you all and heck i would definitely appreciate you all even more if you guys help me fight the algorithm so yeah comment about blooming padding below like talk to me about what your route was like and uh yeah uh, if you guys want to play this game for yourself link the game will of course be in the description below I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.